Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Weekly Contest 238, uh, Q2, Frequency of the Most Frequent Element. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this prompt. So during the contest, I had, I struggled with this one a little bit um, because I, I, I knew it was like, uh, and there may be other easy solutions, so hopefully, you know, we'll see about that. But the way that I did was with sliding windows. And the way that I thought about this one was a little bit tricky because... I honestly thought that this was a little bit too hard for Q2, which is why I came back to it later, um, and you to kind of see it. But the idea is, okay, uh, well, sliding windows are two pointers, depending on how you want to call it. But let's say, you know, let's say you have a sorted array, um, you know, here, uh, we basically say, okay, what is the cost of every number is summing up to the last number. And oops, how did that happen? To the last number in that window. Um, and as, and f for as long as the, the, the window is bigger than, um, you know, uh, if, if that window, the sum, the cost, the sum of the cost, as long as it's smaller than K, then, you know, we could increase the window. If it's bigger than K, we have to decrease the window. And that's basically how we do the two pointers. I thought that was a little bit hard, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, but basically, we have a right pointer that goes from zero to n, you know, moving. Well, they both the pointers go move from left to right. But yeah, so so basically, we look at um, you know, as long as the numbers are not the same. Because if the numbers are the same, then we can just we could add that number in for free. Otherwise, the cost of that. Um, the cost of adding all the numbers to that this new number. Let's say this is a new unique number. Um, that you know, let's put, you know have this number again. Um, you know, let's say you know your your windows are here and you want to move it to expand it to eight. Well, if there are two numbers inside and the delta is four, then it costs eight to um, to get to the next number. And that's basically here. There's just a lot of mathematic, uh, you know, maths and arithmetic. Um, and then that's basically it. And then we increment the right by because that's just you know inserting this number. Otherwise, okay. And then now the invariant here is that we have to try to keep the cost less than k. Um, so if the cost is greater than k, then we have to shrink the left of uh, we have to move the left closer so that it gets cheaper. And to that, that it, this is basically the cost. You know, we we remove one number, then we um, then it gets that much cheaper to, you know, it gets that much cheaper to get to the current number. Uh, and that's basically the idea here. And yeah, and then you keep on going until this is the case. Um, and because it's too slow, so yeah. And then at the way end, we just make that, you know. Yeah, I don't know why I wrote it this way. Usually I, I would just write best as you go to uh, right minus left. But I think during the contest, I, I was trying to solve a different problem and then I messed up and then I, yeah. Um, but yeah, and then this is good because that, this is just the length of the, um, that's just the, um, how many numbers are inside this this uh, sliding window, right? Um, yeah. And, and so what is the complexity of this? This is going to be linear time. And, oh, sorry, we do sort this. So I don't think this is given to us in a sorted way. So we do sort this, so it's going to be n log n. But after the sorting, it is going to be linear time because even though there are two while loops, um, you can think of it as each number, if you have a sliding window, each number can be inserted into the sliding window once, and then it could be removed from the sliding window once, right? So each number can only be added and removed once. So constant time. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, excuse me. Ooh. Oh, bless me. But yeah, so each number can only be added or removed once. So each number can only be constant number of times. So these loops are going to be... Um, oh man, half sneezing. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Squeeze me. Uh, sorry about that, but yeah. Uh, so this is linear time, and in terms of space, it's going to be constant space because we don't, you know, we just have a couple of variables. So yeah, uh, that's all I did. That's all I have for this problem. I actually took a long time because I was thinking about different ways. I was thinking about binary search as well because I think you can, 
you can do a binary search on each number um, on the max frequency or something like that. But, uh, but I, didn't, I thought that was too messy. So I was trying to figure a easy way, especially for Q2. So maybe I played myself a little bit. I think this is pretty straightforward. I was just... This is just tricky because especially since Q3 was a little bit hard, uh, easier than this, if you ask me. So it's, it's all awkward. Anyway, you can watch me solve it live during the contest next. That's a math. I feel like there's a dumb solution, but I'm not seeing it. Maybe binary search. Wait. <coughs> really have no idea. People haven't solved it yet, and people are very smart, so I don't know. That's, so at least my assumption is right. Oh, how did I do this one? Did a lot of people got in this one, so. Uh, silly mistake on Q3, though. <coughs> how do I do this, though?
my computer is so slow. I feel like I've solved this. That's why I'm trying to figure it out. Not do every number per algorithm correctly. That's still n squared, though, right? Mm. And math is hard for me. A lot of people have gotten this one down. All right, let's see if I can go to Q4 real quick. Have people solved it yet? No one solved it yet. So, I think I solved this already in code for us. <coughs> it's annoying. Uh. I don't know. They tried to make this too cute in general, but okay. Uh, how did I solve this one then? Numbers. Am I missing something silly? Ooh, I guess we can take care of, take advantage of this. So from each number. Do a sliding window. That's hard. What's it being? Oh, Mm. 
Yeah, I think we'll just do sliding windows then. Mm. Okay, we're not the same. We add this one. Why do I use this? Do I use this at all? I think I'm thinking about some another different problem. Oh no, okay, I got it. I was thinking about another problem. <coughs> Tell me, Larry. Okay. Yeah, uh, let me know what you think about this farm. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, ask me questions, and yeah, let me know how you did. Um, stay good, stay healthy, and to good mental health, and I will see you next problem. Bye-bye.